In this tutorial series, we get into the essentials of how to make you and your orchestral instrument sound and look better. And you and your instrument should shine as bright as your performance. With some basic adjustments, we'll help you improve the appearance of your picture dramatically. We're going from a poorly framed and very contrasty heartlit image that is rather unflattering to a pleasing image with soft light and good framing that'll make you and your performance stand out. First, let's take a look at how to choose a perspective and picture frame for your shot. Try to find camera angles that show something more interesting than just a flat wall. Leading lines and filming into the corner of the room will make your shot look way more interesting. Also, concepts like the rule of thirds will ensure that your framing has balance. It could look something like this. Additionally, you can find some accessories like plants, decoration, pictures, a floor lamp that will enhance your shot without being too distractive. If the room you record in has lots of natural light, it doesn't require much to make the image work. An overcast day is ideal as the light through the window is already diffused and has soft quality compared to a hot and bright light when the sun pours in. If your room tends to be dark when it's overcast or you simply prefer the warmth of sunlight, you can diffuse the sunlight with sticking a shower curtain to the windows or drawing the curtains if they're translucent. Next step, position yourself to the window at a 45 degree angle as this gives a nice travel of light over your face and instrument. It's sometimes referred to as Rembrandt lighting, as the famous painter. It creates interest and depth. That being said, your camera should be positioned in a way so that it films from the shadow side of your face and instrument. Filmed from the bright side, the picture looks flat and uninspiring. Filmed from the shadow side, it has more depth and dimension. When it's done correctly, you'll see a somewhat triangle of light on the shadow side of your face. This rule is super universal. It is used in almost every movie and TV series. You can even use it for your selfies. They'll look better that way. We'll show you a small DIY light assembly that is affordable, easy to set up and gives you great results. We take this 200 watts LED floodlight and shoot it through a white shower curtain that we attach to two microphone stands to diffuse the light for softer light quality. Stand quite close to the curtain. This might feel a bit unnatural at first, but it will look good on your video. In order to lift the overall exposure and ambience of your room, you can use additional practical lights, such as floor or table lamps in the background. Try to avoid using your overhead light, as this might give unpleasant shadows. Think of the sun at noon, this is what the overhead light does. So here is our scene before and after our lighting setup. Last but not least, it's always a good idea to have a friend or colleague help you find the right position, looking through the camera and adjusting all the settings. Feel free to experiment, have fun and good luck! <laughs>